The Southern Flinders Ranges in South Australia also plays host to some great scenic and challenging road cycling. We met up with some very fresh faces who are going to take us on a little bit of a tour. Now, Peter, where are we going today? We left from Port Pirie this morning at 8 o'clock. We're going to Port Germain, which is about 24 kilometres from Port Pirie. We're climbing up through the Port Germain Gorge and ending up at Stone Hut for lunch. That's a trip of about 70 kilometres. And then from after lunch, we go from Stone Hut and we go up to uh, Laura, then to the Gladstone Turnoff and back to Port Pirie along the highway. So, what's the total kilometres with all of that? 134, I've been told. Oh, you've been told you haven't done it yourself? Yes, I've done it quite a few times. <laughs> I just don't like to look. <laughs> Tony, what's the degree of difficulty like on this ride? Uh, look, th th there's a bit of everything. There's uh, quite a few flat stages, um, certainly through Port Germain Gorge. It's a real leg stretcher, but very scenic and very beautiful to ride through Port Germain Gorge. Uh, and then a couple of fairly uh, challenging climbs between Stone Hut and Port Perry. So, uh, but a lot of flat sections, so very good. Break, break a little bit of sweat now and then? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Hugh, how often do you actually take to the road? Probably about at least three times a week, if not more. Um, we try to get out uh, on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturday mornings. Uh, we leave normally leave from Pelham Road and we can either go out to the Broughton Road. Uh, there's some nice rides out, a bit flat out that way. We've got a lot of older riders. Um, there's a couple of 70-year-olds, uh, uh, Gary and uh, uh, Clemmy Bairstow. They're uh, on, in their 80s and... Uh, on for 80th birthday for Clemmy a couple of months ago, we did uh, uh, did an 80 kilometre ride for him, with him, so he was quite happy with that. Fighting fit and very healthy then, I, I yes. can imagine. Yeah. Bronte, you're the uh, most mature of the bunch, is that right? Oh, I'm the oldest, I don't know about mature of the bunch. <laughs> How do you fare riding at, at your age, being uh, 25, is it? 25, yes, lovely. <laughs> how, old, how old are you really? 65. And how do you go uh, riding with these lads? Well, I stick on the back. I hang on for dear life, but uh, now and again they let me go to the front. <laughs> now, you've got to watch out for cars often. Uh, is this one of the cars behind us that uh, you used to drive back in the day? It was when I went to school. Yeah. And what's the bikes like that you're riding now compared to it? A lot easier than pushing this thing. <laughs> I found a great little trail in between Melrose and Gladstone. Perfect for weekend rides. And guess what? You can even rent your own family. Rebecca. What trail are we on right now? What is this trail? What's it all about? Yep, we're on the Southern Flinders Rail Trail. This is uh, stage one between Laura and Stone Hut. Recently completed, it's a disused rail corridor. Fantastic. So a rail corridor means that it's relatively flat. Yes, it is so relatively flat. Good for families and mm -hmm. beginners and just people wanting to cruise. Yeah, ideal a Sunday afternoon or um, just a recreational cycle. Rebecca, is there anywhere to take a break along the trail? Mm -hmm. They're uh, both at Stone Hut and Laura. There are cafes and um, probably the well known is the Stone Hunt Bakery uh, that has um, a range of various pies yes. and also has recently been a wine tasting area. Well, we've seen some awesome road bike action. I think it's time for a little bit of freestyle. Alrighty. Where's all these cool kids? Okay, well I found a cool kid. Ben's going to talk to me a little bit about the freestyle BMX side of things. Ben, um, how are you going to make me cool here? Am I going to jump on one of these bikes and uh, get out in the skate park? Oh, maybe you do if you can or not. Maybe, <laughs> maybe give it a go later. Now I understand you've been riding freestyle BMX for a while. A couple of years, so 10 years? How, how long have you been riding? Yeah, I've been riding you know, most of my life, so it's always been a big thing for me. 
I was on the back and forth on the push bike to moto, so, you know, yeah. doing all that. But, um, yeah, I mean, me and, was, me and the guys used to just ride the dirt jumps back in the day, and, um, yeah, eventually all the guys tried to get a petition together to get the skate park happening, and... Um, Great. So the skate park's pretty new? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the last, it's been here for about two years or so now. Since that's been there, the riding's gone through the roof, so the two riders have got uh, clothing sponsorships that come from the skate park, so that's yeah. crazy. You know? What's it like having, you know, Port Piri riders just getting on the map and, and getting noticed? It must oh, be an amazing it's feeling. great. I mean, we've got, you know, riders from everywhere coming to ride the park, and we've got, you know, Adelaide, Wyala, Port Augusta. You know, I've had some Adelaide riders say it's one of the best skate parks I've ever seen, so. Okay, now, you, you said they ride till midnight. And I don't understand, how, how do you ride at night? Oh, I mean, they've got the lights set up down there, it's great. So there you go, you can actually come and ride at any time of day or night here in Port Perry. Skate park with lights, perfect solution. <laughs>another beautiful place to ride in the southern flinders ranges is Oruru. now this place is famous for its beautiful pristine trails and also some very tidy houses beautiful southern Flinders Ranges, we're in Oruru. What's to see and do out here? Oh, plenty to see and do out here. Uh, it's a spectacular uh, scenic place. Um, there's plenty of uh, historical, cultural uh, places to go and see, and, uh, and obviously we've got some fantastic bike circuits and bike yeah, tracks. you do. You've got, you've got some really great family-friendly uh, circuits around here. Can you tell us some of the trails that you've got? Yeah, we've got uh, two. We've got uh, an intermediate and a beginner trail. And uh, the intermediate trail takes in the uh, reservoir and up through the Pigna ruins. Yep. Uh, and there's some cultural stuff to see up there and uh, some spectacular uh, uh, scenery and some great uh, trail riding. Now, this is a very bike friendly town, isn't it? Can it you is. tell us some of the features this town has that, that uh, really opens up the town to, to cyclists in general? Yeah, look, it's a very open space town. Um, open wide roads, uh, easy to get around, well signposted. Um, plenty of friendly people in town. The kids run around, uh, run around town on their bikes all the time, and uh, and then they can take in these uh, fantastic trails that we've got behind us. And I've, I've heard this uh, funny little analogy going around: uh, up and over. Is this some sort of joke with tour down under? Yeah, it is actually. It's a good uh, play on words. Tour up over is a uh, fantastic new uh, competition. Uh, that we're running up at Bendelby Ranges. Okay. It's a private uh, property, yep. uh, and uh, they've developed uh, some really unique uh, cycling uh, and uh, uh, competition work, um, including uh, a, a technical area where uh, you can learn the better parts of uh, um, uh, the process. John, uh, as a local, what do you like about this town so much? Well, I was born here, and I'm 56 now, and I'm still living here, so that's probably a good indication I, I do like it. Uh, girls, what do you think about the uh, bike tracks that have been set up for you girls? Really good, really fun. <laughs> do you girls have matching bikes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. and helmet. Isabel, you're the youngest tribe out here. You've probably got the coolest bike too. What, it's, it's that little tricycle, isn't it, that red one? 
Well, it's not mine. Oh, it's, it's not yours. Oh, okay. Did you do much pedalling today or did uh, Mum kind of push you around? Mum kind of pushed me around. <laughs> Linda, what are some of the other great, fantastic attractions we can see in Port Pirie? Um, a lot of fantastic things to do. Um, Port Pirie has the great advantage of, as well as being in the Southern Flinders Ranges, also being on the coast in the Spencer Gulf. Um, so we've got a, a great beach here, um, redeveloped foreshore and some fantastic waterfront activities there. Um, we also have a lot of cultural attractions, um, including museums, a shark exhibition, art gallery, and we also have great railway history, including miniature and model railway, which is um, something for for both the young and the young at heart to enjoy. Fantastic, brilliant. Now, on the on the topic of rail, railways, uh, I understand the railway actually takes you straight to Port Pirie from Adelaide. Um, you can you can end up outside of uh, Port Pirie, just near Port Pirie. Right. Um, door, so, yeah, door to door nice service, isn't it? <laughs> Fantastic, yeah. <laughs> um, now I understand there's a, there's quite a significant train that uh, rolls through this way, isn't there? Uh, yes, um, Crystal Brook, which is 20 minutes south of Port Pirie, um, has the GAN travel through on quite a regular basis, and there's a lot of train spotters that actually uh, go down to Crystal Brook and um, enjoy having a, a bit of a picnic or a lunch there and watching the trains go by. Fantastic. Now, uh, I understand you've got some smelter tours that happen out here. Well, we actually have the world's largest primary lead smelter here in Port Pirie. It's our largest employer. Pirie. And we have uh, guided bus tours that leave three times a week um, from our Port Pirie Visitor Information Centre. Linda, how do we find out more about the events in uh, the Southern Flinders? Uh, yeah, we have a website which is www.pirriehasitall.com.au. It has a lot of information on Port Pirie and the rest of the Southern Flinders Ranges, including a calendar of events. Um, and that has all the events coming up, um, big and small events alike. And uh, yeah, it's a great way for people to plan their holiday. Fantastic. Now, what about all the cyclists out there? How, do, how can they get some information about what to do and uh, where to go and start their holiday? They can log on to the website www.southernflindersranges.com.au um, or they can phone us here at the Port Pirie Visitor Information Centre. Well, you've seen it firsthand for yourself on Power to the Pedal, the beautiful Southern Flinders Ranges. Make sure you come and check it out for yourself.